love and new ways of living and new ways of working and new in ways of indeed not working. Um, and they lived life very much as it came. And this is a characteristic which they haven't lost with age, thank goodness, it makes them a very attractive generation. Um, so it means that they approach old age or older age with all the progressiveness which, which they um, came to their youth. My hips desperately need replacing and I've got a low back problem. Richard is 64 and lives in Pembrokeshire in Wales. He's a kite surfer. I don't know why I do it sometimes, because it does hurt when you get it wrong. I just get so excited. Whoa! Sometimes I feel like I'm boiling inside. In fact, the adrenaline builds up to such an extent there have been occasions when I have to come in, lie down on the beach, just let my kite float above me. It's just a continual buzz. Richard's a bit of a legend, really. I first met him about three years ago when I moved down here to take on the school. And uh, well, I just had an enormous amount of respect when I saw him out kite surfing for the first time. Sometimes the waves come in like bulldozers. That is really scary. You have to enjoy being scared because it's that exciting, particularly when the sea is really big and you're trying to ride the waves. And if you get it wrong, the wave breaks over you. Believe it or not, a 64-year-old braving the Irish Sea to leap waves while connected by string to a kite is part of a national trend. Number 14. Base jumping. Research published by Marks and Spencer today suggests that round the world travel, going back to school, even extreme sports, are the aspirations of more and more people looking forward to retirement. 